I just realised guys, I have not been recording, so I'm a bloody idiot, I'm sorry, but I am. Uh, I'm gonna have to give him, I'm gonna have to give the beast one more, because he missed it, because I didn't press the record button, because I'm my stupid, okay, right, we're gonna grab this pot, and we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna grab something, and guess what it is? He's gonna be fat. I'm gonna tell you, I've already given him six. Did I give him six? Yes, I did. He's a fat, he's fat. But he's cute, so. It's fine. He's, he's shredding anyway, so he can have a, an extra one. And you've already zoomed into my face, but he's shredding, so we can give him another one. If you haven't worked it out already, his food is locusts and other insects. But he, his favourite is locusts. He hates crickets. But this is my pet. He's lovely. I may mean, do a whole separate video on him. But who will win? Bearded dragon or locust? Finn and bearded dragon is going to win this one. Did just give my video dragon to six. Locusts. Come on, you two. Someone move. Locust move. So he will not eat this locust unless it moves because video dragons and wild animals. He's not wild animal. But anyway, if their food doesn't move, they presume it's dead. And if it's dead, they won't eat it because they don't know what other animals killed it, so it could kill them. So if it's not moving, they won't eat it. And this locust is trying to stay still as you possibly can. Oh, he's moved. Oh, it's getting intense. Uh uh, my bitty dragon's like being so strange. He, my bitty dragon's lazy. <laughs> Step one, grab a sheet, put it on the floor because we don't want to get the fiberglass epoxy on the floor. We want it to go in here, fan on the floor because otherwise it just get a pain. Then put on some old clothes just in case you get it onto yourself. Don't wear nice clothes that I am like right now. But this is not my favourite jumper so I need to swap jumpers and then I need to grab my foils and then I'll show you what to do after that. So step one, um, get some wipes and clean your foils because you don't want any dirt to interrupt with the gel coat otherwise it's just gonna fall off and not work so let's do that first.
F O. Scratch the new edge. And here, here it's got the fin and this. This one is the worst. This is my brother. I did that at River Medway, which is pretty bad. So we're gonna fix that right now. So let's start mixing. But first, what you need is some sort of card. If you're gonna use this code, I'm just gonna tell you right now, there's only one penny on this, and I'm pretty sure this is out of date as well. So good luck with that. And we're gonna make a thick ish stick and then we're gonna make two thin sticks that are about a centimeter thick and then we're gonna have one half centimeter one and then we're gonna have another thick the thick one so you have one really thick one one medium sized one centimeter one centimeter thick and half centimeter so you go from half centimeter centimeter an inch to an inch and a half so we start off with these two and then we go to these two and then we go to this one so what we need is we need a pot this way no because the logo and the paint and stuff may go into your um, stuff so we start off with the non logo painted side and we have this this is what I use um, it's just gel coat so I'm using gel coat this is the brand that I'm using at the moment I don't know if they're still around they're quite an old brand I think so we're gonna um, do this Oh. I don't, I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of oil paints, oil plaster. So I'm recommending, oh, at the moment, oh, before first, I recommend rolling up the sleeves and then taking any gadgets off because you don't want to get that with gel coat on it. So I'm going to take mine off because I do not have that much money. So we grab our thick card and we're going to squeeze and I'm going to say that much and then boom and now we put the lid back on yeah it reminds me of oil paint and I hate hate um, painting I'm good at drawing but I hate painting and I hate colouring because I can't do it. Well, I can, I just decide not to. I probably am good at it, but I just doubt myself. I mean, we've got hardener. I don't know how much to put in, so I'm gonna put... Why is that a watery? Ew. Should that be watery? I think this may be out of date. I don't know. Anyway, we're putting that bit over there. And uh, put in this bit, and we're gonna put. I don't know, I feel like a little bit more. I'm gonna put in three drops, that's probably way too much, knowing me. And I know people are gonna say, Harry, what are you doing? That is way too much. I oh, know. If it doesn't set tomorrow, I'll redo it. And if it sets before I put it on, I am an idiot. So. So I'm mixing it. I've already got the first bit of my hand because I am an absolute numpty of a person. All 
All right. Now we'll put that one right there, and we're going to use our medium size one first. So we're going to start off with this corner first because this is the worst out of all of them. And this is probably going to take the most. So I'm just mixing this up a little bit more. And we're just going to go. <laughs> and we're going to put the rest of it back down. I'm sorry if this is a really bad job. Do not quote me on this. I know some people are going to roast me in the comments. I'm just going to put it out there now. People who roast me, I do deserve it because I am doing a really bad job. But just don't roast me too much. Right, this is going to need a lot. Uh, I've only built it out a little bit. Jeez. I think I'm going to have to gel coat this bit twice. I'm going to have to build it up to about here, let it dry, and build it out a bit more. Oh, damn it! So yeah, I'm just building up the layer of gel coat on the corner because it's really, really bad and it took me quite a while to build it up. And I'm going to have to do a second coat of gel coat on that bit anyway, so, which is annoying, so yeah. As you can see, I have a lot of gel coat in my hands. If you get gel coat on your hands, do not wash it off with water. I repeat, do not wash it off with water. If you wash it with water, it will set more to your fingers and it will just get all horrible. You have to wash your hands with just pure soap and a brush. And then after you've got it all off, then rinse your hands off with water. Because if you get put it on with water, your hands are just going to go horrible. So yeah, it did take me like 15 minutes to scrub my hands off. <laughs> it took forever. Also, with my gel coat, I'm going um, the direction that the um, water would flow across the foils. So I'm not going up and down the um, foils. I'm going left to right or right to left. But you don't want to go up and down. Because if we do miss a bit on sanding, it's going to make more drag, so we want to get the least amount of that drag as possible. So I missed a hole at the top. I missed a chip at the top. So I'm refilling that bit at the moment. you gel coated your foils a boat send me a picture and DM me on your Instagram so I could have a look and see how much more better you did for me because my job was not that good so I normally wait 24 hours for it to set but I had to wait um, 48 hours because it's cold and it's damp in the air at the moment so I had to wait a little bit longer so here I have some razors I have a I can't remember what it's called, and then I have sandpaper. I have loads of different grades of sandpaper there. So what I do is start off with the razor, get the worst off of it. And then with the razor as well, you can smooth it off quite a bit anyway, so that's quite handy. And while I was doing this as well, I realized I missed, um, with my gel coat, I missed a couple of spots that I needed to gel coat, so I'm gonna, fill in those holes during the week sometime 
because I don't want to make this video any more longer than it already is. So I've gone all the way around with a razor, which took me a long time, but it does pay off. And now we're using our metal sandpaper. The name's in the back of my head, I just can't remember what it's called. Err. It'll probably come to me at the end of the video, or when I post it up. <laughs> That's what normally happens. So then I use this metal sandpaper tool, whatever you call it, um, after the razor, and then after I use that, I go back to the razor afterwards. So with this metal um, sandpaper thing, whatever you call it, I forgot, I use the thinnest one of that, the thinnest grade on there. And then I use the razor and I just keep switching between those two until I get a smooth finish. Because you can get a pretty smooth finish with the razor. So as you probably see on the, the, the massive chip that I had in my rudder, I'm going to have to put some more gel coat on it because I couldn't build it up enough um, when the gel coat was wet so unfortunately I'm going to have to re put an extra layer of gel coat and build it up even more because I just couldn't build it up enough. It'd be, it'd be fine for training but when it gets to nationals I'm going to have to build it, rebuild it up properly which will probably take me a whole week to do if I want it to get really really good and as you can see that I'm peeling off the gel coat that wasn't filling any holes so after I've done the razor I go to uh, wet and dry sandpaper I start off at 180 and then I went to a thousand And then after that you can polish it, but I couldn't find my um, boat polish. Because with boating, I there's only certain polishes you can use, otherwise if you get caught and use enough of polishes, you can get disqualified for some stupid reason, but yeah. So I'll show you the finished product. It's pretty good, it's not the best. I've done better. But I will refinish the massive chip during the week and I'll probably post that on my Instagram so you can look at it. And if you see the black lines, that's where I sanded a bit too um, much, but that's fine, it's smooth. As you can see that I missed a chip that I needed to fill in, so I'm also going to refill that in during the week. And you can see what I meant by the corner of the rudder. But it's fine, I can just build it up a little bit more. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video until the end if you did. Um, don't um, roast me in the comments about my foils. I'm, I'm not a pro at doing that. Um, I'm, I'm an amateur, so it's not the best work you'll ever see of fixing foils. But yeah, hope that and um, helps you when you do yours if you need any help with yours and if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like my content don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications and tell you when i upload a brand new video until next time stay safe keep sailing see you at all